this is the energy vibration um, reading for the Aries Sun Moon Horizon Sun I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful like shares and support please share 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 this video cross watch cross watch you Aries have so much beautiful readings um, I don't know why um, there is less of you Aries um, connecting with the readings okay and so wow a week is looking but you have a stability week um, wow nine nine and ten of swords swords oh. okay alrighty the week is from the 18 until the 24th it is an air week and the week begins uh, with um, the look energy and it ends met water okay um, the zodiac energy changes up D of Tuesday Wow you Aries Wow what's happening what's happening okay so you Aries have the nine of wands and fire energy on Monday on Tuesday you have um, the energy of temperance which is earth energy um, the um, crowning of your reading is an end coming to a situation you're leaving the situation moving forward there's a lot, lot of lies and deception but you have a strong foundation and uh, there is someone that is coming at you this person could be an Aquarius Gemini or Libra um, or this person is coming at you with harsh words but um, no worries no matter what is happening you'll be okay okay no matter what is happening you will be okay the four of Pentacles is here okay and your stability you need to pay attention to your financial stability okay you Aries definitely pay attention to your financial stability so what is going to be transpiring and what is going to be happening is that your financial stability is going to be um, one of the most important in um, this uh, week and um, you need to be aware and align yourself okay so um, be aware of all these things that is happening all right so on Monday you have the nine of ones in reverse that means you're not protecting yourself whatever the situation that is happening you hear is are just not protecting yourself the nine of ones have to um, do with justice okay so the nine of ones you're hoping has to do with justice and there's information that is going to be coming at you okay so um, you're no more protected and um, standing up um, for whatever is there you are open up and there is a situation that is going to be balancing out but it's good to protect yourself okay um, all right the energy of temperance here and this energy fell out as if you're going to be seeing the truth to a situation okay so whatever the situation is you're going to definitely see the truth to a situation whatever is happening whatever is transpiring you're definitely going to be seeing the truth to a situation you're open and a balance is going to be coming in but um, it could be that someone is um, very much so um, like uh, espionage um, like someone connect to you but it's for a reason why they connect to, to you okay whoever this person is could be working as undercover whatever it is um, on the cover cop on the cover detective whatever it is but it's um, whoever this person is, is someone from legalities um, legal system that sort of a thing now you're seeing the truth about it on Tuesday and love is going to be coming in because this person um, is trying to protect you uh, okay this person is trying to protect you whatever the situation is this person connected with you and 
whoever she is, she's going to protect you. Okay, so um, on Tuesday, you could be meeting a Virgo or a Virgo. You're going to be seeing the truth about a situation, but love is coming in. Some of you could be meeting someone new. Some of you could be having a baby. Um, some of you could be understanding a situation around a child. A lot of children are coming up in this week, okay? The tower. The tower bring down something. The wheel of fortune, okay? So there is an end that is coming to a situation that you were trying to find balance with. An end is coming to that situation and the wheel of fortune is here, okay? An end is coming to a situation and the wheel of fortune is here. Some of you are going to be leaving something behind. Let's see what is Six of Swords and Heartbreak. There is Heartbreak. She's gonna, You're going to be leaving something behind for Three of Swords. And what is this all about? And then you're going to be looking um, for a new start forward. There is Lies and Deception. Some of you... Or dealing with deceptive people around you, deceptive situation around you. What is the Ten of Swords for the Aries? Ten of Swords for the Aries. It has to do with an home. It has to be with a home. So this Ten of Swords with this, the, the um, it has to be with a home. Some lies and um and deception. Uh, it is a situation that has to do with home of work. Some real deception, some lies and deception, um, situation that has to do with um, home. And now you're seeing the truth about it. Now you're definitely seeing the truth about it. Now the truth is going to be coming out. And you are standing and you're meditating to find out what exactly is happening. And you are going to be finding out the truth, what has happened. Okay. All right. We definitely have um, the stability, the foundation of a house here. Let's see what is happening with the four of ones for the Aries. Success is going to be coming. Okay, so whatever um, the instabilities that was there, um, you know, you're going to be refining your energies, your vitality, and you're going to be moving forward. Okay. Um, the Knight of Rods is here, and you're going to be very successful over this person. Whoever this Knight of Rods is, you're going to be extremely successful over this person, okay? Because whatever, this could be you guys between the ages of 18 and 45. You could be very successful in this week, okay? So if you're an Aries, um, definitely you're an Aries. Um, you could be very successful if you're looking for a new house. Definitely, you're going to be able to afford this house. Everything that you need, um, you're going to be able. Some of you could be thinking about getting married. Um, this is a week of the Valentine's, getting married, buy a new house. This is going to be definitely happening for you guys. Knight of Swords is here. What is this Knight of Swords? How does it affect the Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign? It has to do with financial stability, okay? So some of you could be in a relationship with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, and it is okay, it is wonderful, it's positive. Whatever the situation is, yeah, um, it is good. So not to worry about it, things are going to be okay. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is here, and the Nine of Pentacles. So definitely, you are going to be financial stable. Um, this is really, really going to be a wonderful week. Um, some of you, um, um, if you're a child, because there's a lot of energy with children. Um, we have the Pisces Cancer and Scorpion. Um, we have the Aquarians kids. We have a lot of energy with kids that is coming up. There is a situation with um, your child. If you have a child that is a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion, his world is about to end. Okay? Uh, his world is about to end. Whatever the situation is, um, you're going to be finding out something about this child also. Um, something very significant about this child. And uh, you could end the relationship with this child in this week and you could let it go and leave it behind. But whatever it is that you're going to be finding out is about some money. 
but there's a lot of heartbreaks that is going to be coming up a lot of heartbreaks so if you notice um, there is a situation that has to do with legalities or with balancing the scale and some of you could be on the surveillance okay some of you leave yourself to open and you could be on the surveillance um, there is love that is going to be coming in from a Virgo um, someone who is a Virgo um, some of you a new baby could be born some of you you're going to be understanding a situation with a child or, or um, a baby but whatever is happening um, whatever uh, surveillance you were on the, or that sort of a thing could be coming to an end um, there is the six of swords some lies and deceptions and you're looking um, to move forward um, you're looking for either um, some of you are going to be looking for a better place or a better living um, situation but you're looking um, to move forward leave whatever this is happening behind the ten of swords is here um, you have been stabbed in your back over a situation it could be at work or it could be at home and you're thinking about the situation whatever it is you're thinking about who could have done that and why would have they have done this okay definitely who could have done that why would they would have done this and then what we're seeing is that um, the young people between the ages of 18 and 45 um, you're definitely um, going to be successful in the endeavor um, strong foundation um, you could be um, building a business this is going to be good or you could be um, building back your financial stability whatever the situation is is definitely um, going to be good then we have the knight of swords um, if you're in a relationship with a, um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you're going to be financial stable um, so for the young people um, who are going to be entering relationship um, with um, the um, with the Ace of Swords, um, which is an uh, Aquari Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, you're definitely, definitely going to be okay with this situation. Okay, so that is wonderful. That is positive. You're definitely going to be understanding what is transpiring and what is happening. And it's going to be good because the energy of the nine of pentacles is here and this is very positive okay um energy of the ten of pentacles positive energy financial stability is coming and you're going to have the money that you need so it's as if um it could be also that money that was um that was supposed to come to you is now going to be coming to you the four of coins is here and the knight of cups is here and this is good four of coin knight of cups is here um, some of you are going to be realizing um, a situation that if your son or your partner um, is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, they try to take um, this money and their world is going to be collapsing okay so if you have a son that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and they try um, to take some money from the family or whatever justice is going to come in or is someone going to be coming in and said hey return the money um, the world is definitely going to be collapsing okay so let's look what two cards are coming out what other two energies are coming out we have card one and card two as we look at card one it is happy 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 joy 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 okay and this is so perfect it's just it's going to be a week that you're just going through the week feeling really full of excitement for the rest of you guys that nothing in this um, reading is affecting and you're going to just go through the week and feeling real excited real enjoyable and um, you're going to be moving forward in your life in such a wonderful wonderful position in your life and this is going to be good okay then the second card loyal arts loyal arts isn't this wonderful so a lot of loyalty is going to be shown to you a lot of loyalty is going to be shown to you whatever the situation is whatever there was there is a lot of loyalty that is going to be showing to you and uh, um, you're going to be definitely opening up in a wonderful positive way people are going to be loyal to you 
and uh, help you out of a situation um, whatever is happening so very positive two cards you guys receive and this is what I'm saying share 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 these readings because you guys have positive readings not everyone have negative things and not everyone have negative energy you guys always have positive reading share 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 just reading and I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back Namaste until next time.